of the kinds of writing assignments that you should, uh, you know, you should expect to get at Queen's College. Um, three basic types analysis and it'll depend obviously on the on the courses that you know what kind of courses you take analysis papers reflection papers and research papers so hmm, what is the difference between these kinds of papers and it's not as if these papers are um you know completely separate from one another you you obviously in you know, there's going to be a, a certain amount of overlap in research. There are research papers. There will always be, you know, some kind of uh, an, some dimension of analysis as well. But in any case, you know, you can have three basic types. Right. So analysis papers. Well, what does the word analysis mean? First of all, so it comes from the Greek, uh, the prefix ana, which means up, back or throughout and uh, lysis, which is a loosening comes from lien to unfasten and that derives originally from the Indo-European root which means to loosen divide or cut apart so basically analysis is loosening something up dividing it up into little parts to see how it all works in order well, what's the internal organization here how do the individual parts fit into the whole okay um, now an analysis paper will generally require a kind of uh, close reading or engaging with a text or body of writing with the goal of coming to understand or elucidate an author's meaning. So it's really deeply engaging the text and it'll often involve, you know, referring back to things that the author said in, er it, you know, earlier parts of a book, for example, this might be the kind of this, um, the kind of course that you might get this paper in would be, say, a course where you're focusing only on one author. You, it's not, you're not writing a research paper, you're not getting all kinds of you know, uh, other sources about a particular topic. You're focusing just on a single author and you're really coming to engage that author. So uh, a course where um, you're, you're doing a focus on you know, one author, you're looking at several books and you may maybe wanna you know, really come to interpret what this author is saying by referring to all his writing as a body or his or her writing as a body okay so that you don't need outside sources for that the main thing is that you really want to engage the texts that you're working with in the class right that kind of thing um it involves obviously exegesis interpretation critical thinking about what the author is saying um outside sources as i said it may or may not be required right i mean this kind of if you're really coming you know working hard to understand an author's meaning you might want to get some outside sources on that author's life or the the historical social context in which that author lived to see what he or she is responding to in that social historical context. So outside sources in that sense could be very useful. Otherwise, you're really just gonna go very deeply into that author's text, okay? Now, reflection papers would involve reflection upon a text or a topic with various questions in mind, um, which are really about yourself, right? So um, what specifically does this mean to me as it is described by the writer? Or what do I agree with or disagree with in what this author is saying or in what this uh, topic is about? What do I think or, or why do I think or why do I feel this way? What does it present that I have never considered before? Uh, what does it resolve for me? What questions does it raise for me? What does it leave out or what does it not address? What do other writers or sources have to say about this topic, issue, or viewpoint? Um, so again, you know, it's, you wouldn't need a lot of outside sources or any outside sources for this possibly. Maybe you need a couple outside sources to answer the last question. But for the most part, reflection papers are just dealing with an individual text or even an individual passage or a, 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 to, a very well and fairly narrowly defined topic and then how it affects you you know and how you feel how how you're how you're growing what you're even even you might say what your um how your spiritual journey is unfolding um you know thanks to engagement with this particular text or topic all right that's a reflection paper 
Now, research papers, and this, of course, is going to pertain especially to those who are writing a thesis. So basically what we're going to be looking at, uh, I mean, also papers, right, but but especially for theses, um, what we're going to be looking at in the rest of this video, but also in videos two and three um, are mainly research papers or theses. Um, will usually involve a significant dimension of analysis as well. So a research paper is not really separate from an analysis paper, but it's much more than just an analysis paper. It will also um, sometimes involve some reflection, but it will be for the most part uh, of focusing on texts and sources and you know general idea, doing background research, etc. Generally involves an in-depth exploration of a topic, making use of a variety of sources, and so we're going to elaborate this in the remainder of these videos.